Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Michael with Hissy Cat Studios. Today we're going to talk about prototyping mission cards for our air combat game Richtofen. I love the crafty aspect of prototyping a game design and I'm going to share that with you today and hopefully you'll learn a few things and maybe apply it to some of your game designs. So if you like the content of our channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. Without further delay, let's get into this. Okay, so prototyping. I took some 4x6 index cards and kind of drew what I thought my mission would be. So you start your aerodrome, you fly over um, no man's land, you get to where the balloons are, try to shoot them down, and fly back over no man's land, back to your aerodrome. Got an encounter table and a little bit of art. Uh, balloon takes six hits. I've got it both here and here with some modifiers for the table here. And this is for the advantage, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if you get into combat. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to have a recruit deck, a veteran deck, and an ace deck uh, that you'll shuffle and pull out your encounter uh, based on your dice roll here. Same thing with the trench strafing. Now I had two different tables. I ended up going with one. Um, it probably should have been zero. I think I put on my card, but I'm going to show you how I went from this to um, importing. What I did is I took my phone and I took photographs of these separately. Okay. And then I imported those into Adobe Photoshop on their own layer, turn the opacity down, put another layer, and then kind of drew over the top of it. Um, added some background art, moved things around, got it organized the way I wanted it, and then went down to Staples and for like about a dollar printed out this. So See, the strafing one changed quite a bit, but you, you look at this, you see, about the same. Uh, again, after I did the photo, I just redrew all of this, uh, put my, all my black lines on one layer, made one for my colors, found two different blood splatter images, overlapped those, changed the opacity, um, did some coloring, and then I took this minus one for advantage and went ahead and put it on the top of this bar up here and then did a little bit of art for the trench strafing. So just a sheet of paper, pretty straightforward. Like I said, this colored print cost me, I think I got two of them for a dollar and a half, something like that. Uh, not too expensive. Then I took this and I have some cardstock because I overdo everything. That's just how I am. Uh, I buy this in big sheets and for all sorts of prototyping, different types of games. Um, took a little glue, glued this down, and then cut them out. And then I had two of these cut out and I applied a little bit of um, this packing tape over the top. That way I could use a dry erase and ended up with these two mission cards. Now I'm going to end up with more mission cards in the game and I will use that same technique, the prototype, um, this. And if these numbers change, I'll just reprint and rebuild them. This doesn't take me that long and it's part of the craft. Uh, that's one thing I like about the game design is also getting into the crafting side of things. And I'm not the best artist in the world. Um, what I did is I actually found a really cool painting somebody had done. And I took the image, brought it into Photoshop, changed its opacity down, and I just traced over it a little bit. Um, and then did my own little colors on it. So that you get a little sense of the action. Um, and then again... You can see that that's a bit glossy so that I can put a dry erase. Uh, let me show you that here real quick. Hold on one second. 
Okay, so got these as staples. I got a four pack for uh, four or five bucks. Simple little dry erase. So that um, if I'm doing the, so the trench strafing mission, do some damage, boom, can mark it. Maybe I finish this one, I'm doing this one, maybe I get a tack shot down, whatever. And then literally, it just wipes right off. And again, that's just packing tape, shipping tape. Um, it wasn't wide enough and I overlapped it and you'll, I don't know if you can tell, but this edge doesn't have any. And on this one, I've got a little gap running part of the way in the middle. Um, I did, this is about four inches wide. I can get a roll of five inch tape for like 19 bucks. So I might do that just because I don't like having the gap. And with a five inch piece, I can put it over, have a lot of overlap and then just trim it with an X-Acto knife and get a much nicer card. And again, this is my prototype stuff. So if these change, I'm gonna be, if I don't like these numbers, then I will just make new ones. But now that they're, at least these two are in Photoshop, that's a pretty easy little fix. I can edit those things fairly quickly. And then again, for like a dollar, print it out. And, you know, 20 minutes, if that, to build these. Anyway, that's just part of the prototyping process that I go through and, um, just wanted to share that with you guys. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys um, paying attention to what I'm doing. And I'll talk to you soon.